Hi, this is Vanessa Vanjie Mateo. I'm gonna be recreating my final runway look, and I'm gonna take you from this to this, bitch. Get these cookies. First, you gotta take away the man, and that's by shaving. Don't come to no gig lumpy, bumpy, and, and scruffy. Shave, bitches, okay? Be right back. After you shave off the man, that's when we start to get into the gig, okay? I use Prose. Gotta shake it up. Well, not really, but I just like to slam it around. Um, I'm gonna block out the brow because my brows are a little bit thicker, fuller, and you know, voluptuous. So I gotta go ahead and put some prosate on it. You got me my cheese Danish. <laughs> so get into that brow and spackle that. Clean up the edges, y'all. You don't want no peanut butter and jelly time brows. Sometimes you gotta use what's around you. While that one's simmering and, you know, cooking and drying, get the other brow. Nope, I don't shave my brows because I don't like to look like a freak show during the day. And <laughs> I like to still get laid. So with that being said, I keep my brows on, okay? This will be sped up. powder puff that bitch down. Now I'm sealing in the prose. Yes, I put translucent good old grandma powder. The grandma powder will get you right. After I do that, I like to put a little bit of co color corrector on my brow because if not, that bitch turns blue when you put foundation over. And bitch, nobody wants a blue brow unless you join in the blue man group circus tour. And that's not my gist, so. Put a little on your chinny chin chin because we don't want to see no five o'clock shadow. And you want to put orange because you're going to correct the blue undertones from the beard. If you put straight foundation straight onto it by like two, two hours or a few hours in, it's going to turn color and it's going to look like you have a dark five o'clock shadow and they're going to clock you. They're going to say, that's a dude, Maury. That's a man. The test results are in. Set that bitch because you have to to set the orange. Now I'm gonna put powder with some coverage on it, a powder foundation. Bitch, if she would like, stay on the brow. And this is just gonna add color on top of color, on top of color. Now that I've color covered my brow successfully, I'm about to draw in some new ones. I'm using a cream that's like a brown. Okay. So now I'm drawing in some happy sticks. <laughs> now I'm drawing in the top. That's gonna be where the arch is. So I'm just using a brown cream foundation. Now I'm filling in the brow, y'all. It's not rocket science. You will grab your foundation and clean up your brows, okay, ladies and gentlemen? You know, clean this up. Not clean it up, blend it out. Not blend it out. Clean it up, not clean it up. Spread it like that. Now! Get your wipe. Get you a little brush that's gonna be angled, something like this. Clean up that bottom, baby. Snatch! And then you're gonna spread that, that cream down. Mm. So now I'm taking my highlight color and I'm Push, pushing it down the middle, y'all. And we're gonna, you know, start to get into this mug. Now I'm taking a sponge. I'm blending out the, the creams. Cause you know, that's what you gotta do. Blend that bitch all the way down cause this is about to be your highlight whore. 
wet your sponge and get your foundation. So blend out your forehead because that magic rainbow needs to be blended out. Get the chin, bitches. So go all the way around, bitch. I mainly put most of my foundation on the bottom portion of my face because the rest is gonna be lighter and blah, blah, blah. Get your neck. Now we're gonna do the under eye. Spray your sponge. I have a different sponge for that just cause you don't wanna mix too much. So get up and that under eye and blend that bitch the out. Now I'm using a brush just to really stipple the, the foundation and blend that bitch together. Now, time to contour. Y'all have seen it before, it's time to do the little ombre track stripes. Cut the side of your face cause you wanna look little, you wanna look dainty, and you wanna look And then go down your nose, and you. Sometimes while you getting ready, you gotta strip because bitch, it gets really hot. Blend out your contour. I use a brush for my contour because I can control more where it's gonna go versus a sponge, you kinda just blend it all over. Make sure you get all the nits and crannies all of your neck, all of your, your chin, all of your ass. Like, get it all. You're gonna burn out your nose contour, ladies. Ladies. Go back to the sponge I was using for the highlight and kind of go into her. To blend her out. Time to set, bitches. First, I'm gonna set my under eye using a puff. Set that bitch down. And this is just a translucent powder for all you chicken headed hoes that like to ask 45 questions. For this part, I just use a brush. You wanna make sure you use all this powder because it'll, um, it'll absorb it and then you won't look greasy. If you don't use a decent amount, you just look really shiny everywhere and that's not gonna be flattering. Now you wanna make sure you slap that bitch into your face. Give yourself a high five, whore. Marry the skin with the powder, the powder with the skin, the skin. I pronounce you husband and wife. Or oh, husband and husband. Now! Get into the eyes. You want to put some cooking powder. So you put the cooking powder real quick under your eye because you want to make sure you put it in your eye. You, it catches all the eyeshadow because I know the. Okay. And uh, it's gonna make sure it keeps the um, under eye bright and everything. Okay. Time to do the creases. Now I'm dipping into my warmer, some more warmer colors so it don't look so one note. And sometimes you gotta lick the brush to get that good color payoff. Especially when you're in a hurry and you want real strong color, lick it, bitch. Lick it, lick it real good. I'ma sketch out my wing. I'm using some black eyeshadow to sketch out my wings, y'all, okay? Because if you can't tell that I'm using eyeshadow, then you don't need to be watching this video. It's time to cut the crease.
blend it out. Okay, time to set your crease with powder. This is a, a powder that's white. Okay, it's not a mystery. It's, I haven't used this powder yet. It's just a white one. She's a white one, she's a white one. Doom, 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 she's a white one. So now that we got this crease, it's time to do the wing liners. Now that I sketched them out, we're gonna get a little wick, a little liquid. And we're gonna do the wings, ladies and gentlemen. Now I need a close up mirror, so don't mind me, but we're gonna get this for y'all. See how I sketched out that black and it helps me? Damn. Get those cookies. Y'all just gotta follow the motions. I draw a bigger liner, so when I draw, when I put in my lashes, I can put them above my um my lid. Color in. So now for the inside, we're gonna draw a little um cat-like insides. It'll kind of give you that bitchy look. Time to push in my contours and all that with powders. Now I'm gonna knock off my highlight. Here we go. Now this is just a dark contour powder. Get into that cheek, bitch. This is a powder contour. One more time, it's a powder contour. One more time, it's a powder contour. One more time, it's a powder contour. It's a darker powder. Three, four, five shades darker than you, okay? One more time, it's a powder contour. One more time, it's a powder contour. This one's for you, it's a powder contour. Powder contour, powder contour, powder contour, powder contour. You've seen it once, you've seen it twice. Powder contour. I'm taking a powder that's not a powder contour, but it's a little lighter, and I'm going down my, my nose, okay? Taking the powder darker and going down my nose again, just in case, I don't know how many times. Going down my nose, going down my nose, going down my nose. With a brown. Going down my nose with a brown. Going down with my nose with a brown. I'm gonna get my light powder. Go to town. You wanna, you know, get your nose to be pinched like Dr. 90210 ho did it. Stamp that on the eye. Sharpen my powder contour with more darker colors. Put me some highlight on my cheek. Get that cheek going. For some cheeks, blush. With a little bit of peach, and it's a, a mineralized blush, so it has a little bit of sheen. It's shiny. Put a little on your forehead, cause you know, you wanna look. I don't know, just put a little, cause it. Time to get the highlight. My favorite part. Squirt your face. Bit up under that wing and come down to the cheek. Ooh, I look good! Okay. Now I'm about to darken my brows. Taking a dark cream, and I'm about to just basically go over. Go over your brow that you drew and stamp her in. Fade her in. Then you're gonna take a little bit of it. You don't want it too dark. And in the front, not too much. I don't know. All right! I'ma do lashes. No, lips. So I already got full lips due to the fact that my pop severely and yours don't. So, I'm gonna go ahead and draw them in. When you just go, you know, 
like so. Liquid lipstick. And uh, you know, go in. Now I'm gonna set my face with a little bit of setting spray from um, the tropical sunshine state of Florida. Now, lashes. We don't use real lash glue. We use wig glue. Put you some glue on the edges. All right. I got about four lashes on. I got 301, 301, something else, something else, something else, okay? I stack them like I stack my money. I would teach you, but VH1 has to charge, okay? Code, 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 code it, code it, code it, code it, code it, code it, code it. See y'all hoes in the flip side. I'm about to put on my wig and things and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the end result. When I got kicked to the curb by my boo, I'm giving you Gone With The Wind, fabulous bitch. Gone But Not Forgotten. Follow me on social media, VanessaVangie.com, VanessaVangie on Instagram, VanessaVangie everything else. Love ya. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.